Chris, and this is the Seems Legit Shop Car. <laughs> So it's been about a year since our last video and as you can see, you know, there's a little body kit on it. She's got a new engine, a little turbo. So uh, we're going to take you into the details now and we'll see what she's got. So since the last video, we were lucky enough to have DTM Fireworks come on board with a lot of uh, equipment. We have this beautiful v V2 wide body kit. It helps us fit 275 tires all the way around for the track. In the front, we have a wood splitter. This is made by us. This is uh, a track car, so we don't, we're not all, the, all there for looks. We're there for um, simplicity, and if we rip it off, we don't really care. We can replace it quickly. We have this nice little lip here to make it all into, into one. Here's the wide body kit with the rear tire cutaway. The, the, the rear tire cutaways can help uh, increase downforce by evacuating air behind the tire that get caught there. It gets caught there. Sorry. And the top vents also help release air to increase downforce. We have these side skirts, uh, mostly just for looks because we're trying to keep it the streetable car able to go over, you know, most driveways and stuff like that. And coming to the rear, we also have 275s. All the wheels are 18 by 11. These are work custom negative 16 offset wheels. Um, this is CR2P. Um, they're beautiful and we love them. They had three orders, three months to order them from Japan, and it's not as fast as ordering as in Fast and Furious movies. You know, I can't overnight these parts from Japan, but they're still worth it. Uh, in the rear, we have a pandem, pandem style wing. Um, this probably gives us a bit of downforce, but to be honest, it looks sweet. And we're the only car out in the time attack field without a giant monster wing, so we feel good that we're still fast without all that BS. Now for the real goodies. All right, so it's been a long time, but uh, we were actually working hard. We weren't slacking off. We uh, we pulled and built the motor ourselves. Um, we got this Boost Lab uh, 6262 Turbo on it, and uh, a whole bunch of other goodies. Uh, we got two wastegates, one on the bottom, one on the top. That our buddy Corey welded it for it. Came out perfect. The guy did really, really great work for us. We had um, dual oil coolers for the track. Um, our first time at the track, we experienced a little bit of overheating on the oil side. We were able to take care of that with dual oil coolers. Um, fed by the hack engineering oil filter cap. Um, on top of that, we are able to do a full three inch downpipe for a two and a half inch CX Racing before, but we ended up welding it up ourselves. Um, not beautiful, but it gets the job done. Uh, on top of that, we um, just tidy things up. We did some Herculiner engine bay, which looks pretty good and is pretty durable. Added a bit of heat taping and kind of just fixed a lot of little things we had going on. Um, we, had, uh, we have all 6AN fuel system now. Um, Overall, the engine is similar to what it was before, but a lot more robust. It's got forged rods, 8.5 um, to 1 compression CP pistons. Um, it's fully honed, decked. Everything was done to it by a great local um, Metro Muscle um, machine shop. And it's still supported by the same mods like the CSF uh, radiator and things like that. But we added certain accessories like ATI damper, a small fan, a uh, power steering cooler um, to help cool the power steering system down because we have a wide angle kit that makes this steering much more um, aggressive to turn. But other than that, let's get into the, some details and we can take a look at some of the work that was done. This is the top external wastegate welded up by Corey Misco. Did a nice job. This is a TurboSmart 40 mil wastegate. Exits through the hood. Sounds like a dinosaur roaring or something. I don't know. It's pretty wild. This is a custom that we can get for you. Um, turbo mounted um, two-ply race filter flows over a thousand CFM and is much more um, clean for the engine and efficient than like a screen filter which you would have to use in applications like this with no room. Um, we have a small fan down here mounted to the radiator. 
We have a power strain cooler right here. We have the Gretti blow-off valve, HPX PMAS MAF. These are the, this is a hack engineering oil filter cap that feeds our oil coolers. This is our Mishimoto um, oil thermostat so the engine warms up quickly. Oil coolers are mounted inside the um, wheelbase. And if you can see down here, that's just one side, right in the air down there. Um, they clear the wheels um, with the wide angle kit, which is nice. This is the Boost Lab 6262. It spools immediately. We've been getting great boost and we're running about 22 PSI right now. Um, we still have the 1000 cc injectors. And other than that, it's a pretty similar setup to what we had before, but just much more high quality parts, um, including an Athena cut ring head gasket, which really helps keep the boost inside the engine. <laughs> uh, which is, uh, we overheated it actually, but the Athena is so good that it was uh, no damage done. And we also have the head ported, It'll add a little bit of power there. And we're going to see what we can do with Time Attack uh, at the M1 Concourse in a few weeks. So we have hidden under these DTM Fiberworks flares our 18 by 11 work wheels. Um, they're the CR2P, Rollins barrels, silver centers, and they're beautiful. We uh, ordered them custom from Japan with the help of Evasive Motorsports. They were great to work with, and they actually came pretty quick, just under three months. They're wrapped in Nexen. Um, sure four tires and 275, 35, 18. That's basically the widest you can run with grid life. You can run a 285, but there's not many tires available. The next end lasts really well. They give great grip, so we've been pretty happy with them. Um, under here also we have ECS tuning, two-piece rotors in the um, oversized M3, so I think they're I believe the 385 millimeter rotors. We're, at, um, we're also using 135i calipers. They're six piston, single piece Brembo's with Hawk racing pads, which are also great at the track. We uh, Under here, I don't know if you can see, we got the oil cooler all tucked up in there. And uh, yeah, we're gripping like no other. All right, in the back, it's not quite the same story as the front. There's no crazy Brembo's, but uh, we do have a negative 16 offset on the wheels. And uh, we have two rotors, or two calipers here in the back. One is set up just strictly to the hydraulic e-brake, which is loads of fun. And uh, yeah, take a look for yourself. So everyone loves to harass us that we're the only person that doesn't have a standalone ECU. And, you know, if you go to a standalone, you can do this and this and this, and you can do all this crazy shit. And we're like, yeah, but guess what? We're not fucking made of money, so we can't do that right now. It's on the list of things to do, but we got to start winning races first so we can pay for that shit because we're not all made of money. So uh, we have this fantastic guy, George, from the country of Georgia, not where all your desperate housewives are from, down in Atlanta, Georgia. But, uh... Yeah, Mike, if you want to say more about George. Yeah, George is really easy to work with. He uh, does great work. He's coming to the USA at the end of uh, September. So if you want to need some tuning done in New York, Detroit, or Miami, or anywhere else, if you've got enough demand, uh, give him a holler. He Galosh really tuning. He's on Facebook, and he does great work. He uses the stock ECU, the MS43 ECU, for the from these cars, and an upgraded MAF, and you can run basically any turbo you want. This, these engines react really well to them, and... George really takes care of you. He knows what he's doing. He's got an E46 with over a thousand horsepower. That's a uh, a GTR killer, and he's a real nice guy to work with. So we recommend him on all the uh, people who ask us how you tune it. And we'll put his link in the description below and everything like that, so you guys can get in contact with him. Super personal, super easy to work with. Um, understand English very well, actually, even though he's not from this country. But uh, yeah, yeah, good to work with. We recommend him 100%. So since the last video, we have the same Sparco seats, but we've gone ahead and added a reverse ASD e-brake. This is on its own line to the secondary rear calipers. We've got this IRP short shifter, which is super nice to use, reverse lockout. A lot cheaper than a lot of the more expensive units on the market. We still have the AEM gauges for Lambda and boost control. And we've also done some custom Alcantara um, pillars and cosmic headliner because honestly, this looks sweet. I've been wanting to do it for a while. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video and uh, we're gonna go take off and win some races.